Good morning. Good morning, yogis. Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Kid Yoga. How are you? How's everybody doing out there? Welcome to Memorial Day weekend, Saturday morning. Um, maybe a little drizzly where you are. I think it's, you know, a little drizzly, a little wet, a little foggy where we are. You know, a bunch of stuff going on out there. Not sunshine. That is not what's going on out there. But that's okay, right? Maybe we've been gardening and planting and doing things outside. It's always nice to have a, a little bit of a rain day, a little rest day, a little day to come inside and maybe do some yoga. So nice to have you. Um, this is a kid yoga program that uh, the Island Free Library has had um, in its repertoire for over a dozen years. I've been doing yoga out of this library. That's quite a bit of time. It has been adapted and modified over those dozen years. And it's been a little bit adapted and modified during these last few months so that, um, you know, um, I really invite everybody from the house to come do the yoga. So we've like adapted it. And, uh, and you'll hear me talk about the yoga as we go along. You know, you can do it from a chair. You can do it from your couch. You can do it from the side of your bed. Um, you can do it standing with us. You can do it from the floor. Whatever works in your uh, for your body in your household today is what that yoga looks like today. And that's all good. Um, any yoga is good yoga. So, um, but it is Memorial Day. And usually by now, my kids have been working with me through this yoga program. Because, you know, when you start, if this is your first time here today and you have kids in the room with you and stuff, this could be like a little wonky for them. This could be like something they don't understand. They kind of may run around. It's a little bit of space for them to be themselves, which, of course, is what it is. It's space for them to be themselves. Um, but the structure, you know, often takes a little bit of time. So, um if you're brand new, allow that to happen, and I hope that that works for you. And if you've been doing yoga with us uh, for a while, or maybe during this stretch of time that we've been doing yoga virtually, um, you know, try to do a little yoga with us today. Maybe a little bit more than you did last week. Maybe you did yoga all week. You know, whatever that looks like. Again, whatever that looks like for you today, you know, go with that. So that's my intro. Uh, kid yoga that almost everybody can do. Um, I do leave the screen. I'm going to play with the music. I turn off the lights at the end so that we can lie in stillness together. Um, and other than that, we just see what happens. Let's, let's see what happens here today in yoga. So when I hit play, um, she's just going to be welcoming us. This is um, actually the woman uh, that I learned kid yoga from and got certified with. Uh, this is her recording, and and she's uh, speaking, singing in um, an, an ancient Sanskrit like Sanskrit language, and she's saying welcome. off my shoes while she finishes up hello and I'm gonna sit um, as tall as I can right get as tall as you can shoulders away from our ears Nice, long, beautiful silk string going up to the sky from the tops of our heads, pulling us upward while the bottom half of us get grounded, sit comfy, 
Again, you could be in your chair, you could be in your on your couch, you could be at the side of your bed. Either way, any way, ground, grounded on the bottom, lifting through the top, shoulders are away from the ears, making lots of room in the middle of our bodies there for our organs to function. That's what we're working on right here. Lots of room there. And we breathe in through our nose and out through our mouths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Great. Let's take a breath in together like that. In through your nose and out through your mouth. One more time in. And out. Great. And let's stretch up and reach. Reach for the stars. And wiggle a little, right? Wiggle your back a little. A little side to side, maybe. Reach up, shoulders down, arms reach up. Two different directions again. What can you grab? What can you reach? Stretch your fingers. Get everything going. Wiggle your wrists. Excellent. Take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Great. And let's stretch over to one side. Oh, what does that feel like today? How's that feel? Say, good morning, armpit. Good morning. Hello. And up through the top. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Again, you can do this from a seated, seating position. Seating, seated, 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 seated position. Anywhere, floor, couch, chair, bed, whatever feels good. Stretch up and reach to the other side. Hello, other armpit. How are you today, armpit? All right, and up again, wiggle, stretch, move your wrists. Great, stretch, stretch, stretch your fingers, grab those stars, and come over. And last time up, stretch, 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 and over. Great, we're gonna move our spine six ways as we start here. That was one and two, let's count them. One, and two. Great. What's three and four? Who knows? Lion. Three. <coughs> Lion. And you wiggle around, and your chin goes to your chest, and you're a turtle. And you swish around this way to lie at. Really give it a good stretch across your mouth and your fingers. Really squint your whole face. You know, this is good for your thyroid. And around to turtle. To lion. And then switch your direction. Doesn't matter which way. Just switch it. Great, and come up to stillness. So that's three and four. Let's count from the top. Let's do one, two, three, and four. Great, and get settled in there again. And five and six are a twist. So we get as tall as we can, and we look over one shoulder, and we come to the center, and we look over the other shoulder, excellent, let's count them all together, so that's one, and two, and three, 
while your nose is looking at your knees. One more breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Great. I wasn't quite at my toes. I'm, I'm at my toes now. Maybe you'll try again, see if you get a little further. I was at my ankles, but now I can get to my toes. And then I like to take the thumbs of my fingers and I go right down the middle of my foot. If you're in a, you know, again, if you're in a chair, just cross that leg over. Try not to let it rest on your knee though. Put it more up on your thigh where the muscle is. Much healthier for you if you can get it up there. Take that thumb and really say good morning to your whole entire foot. Good morning, every piece of my foot. And then I'm going to do both sides, right? We try to do both sides. Good morning, other foot. Give it a good rub with your thumb, your fingers. Say hello to all your toes. They've worked so hard already, right? They've stood you up, kept your balance. Whoa. Excellent. And shake that out. Wow. Excellent. Let's take a breath in and out. And again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Great. Let's make our way to standing. If you're not up for standing yet, stay seated. I can't say that today. Seated, stay seated. If you're up for standing, have a nice stand with us. We're going to put all pieces of our feet that we just sort of woke up with our thumbs, feel them all grinding into the floor, stay grounded there, right? Nice and strong, feet are really like hip width apart, straight down, nice and solid, and your arms go up. Again, your shoulders stay away from your ears. Again, you can do this if you're seated. Fingertips point straight up to the sky. Can't quite see my fingertips in the camera. There you go. Breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And this is called mountain. <clears throat> And I always tell the kids, you're such a beautiful mountain range. And I know you're a beautiful mountain range out there today. And then if you want, you can go on your tippy toes. And let's see if I can touch the ceiling today. Oh, I got it. I got it. All right. And shake that out. All right. Let's go up to mountain again. Breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then step out into star. Right? Stretch, stretch, stretch across your chest. Again, this position totally doable from a seated position. Stretch, open up your heart. Let the love and kindness of the world in. Feel it. 
know it, accept it, shake it out. All right, one more time, mountain, star. Great, step forward with one foot or stay where you are. Bend that leg, that leg and that arm, same arm goes forward. Other heart arm hangs out and back. We kind of sink in there, right? Kind of sink in if you can. And our eyes shoot down our fingertips. We're looking out onto the horizon. The horizon is where the sky meets the sea or the sky meets the land, the horizon. And what do we say? I got this. We say it loud and clear. I got this. Great, come together, shake that off, make some noise. Oh, and stillness. Two feet in the ground, rooted there. Two arms straight up. Out into star. Absorbing the love and kindness. Step forward with your other foot. Doesn't matter to me or to your body which one you did first, just as long as we do them both. So that knee now bends, sinking in there. Get in there, sink down. Same front arm and leg, other arm hangs out and back. I shoot down our fingertip to the horizon. You know what the horizon is, right? Sky meets ocean. And what did we say? What did we say? I'm slipping in my socks here. What did we say? We said, I got this. What did we say on this side? I'm ready for the day. I'm ready for the day. We're ready for the weekend. We're ready for summer. We got this. Shake it out. Excellent. And come to stillness. Great. And maybe take one step forward and show me your best superhero today. I have my, I'm standing on one leg, two arms forward. Balance, balance, balance. Show me your best superhero. Awesome. Two feet on the ground. Breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Step forward with the other leg. Remember, we like to get both sides and they're gonna be different. One side may be easier to balance on. And if you're just joining us for yoga and you decided to stand up and help and join today, you know, you don't have to lean all the way forward. Maybe you just balance on one leg. Maybe that's what your balancing looks like today. Maybe you're a super, well, maybe you're not a superhero. Maybe you're a superhero. You're all superheroes, no matter what. But sometimes it's fun to pretend to fly like one. Excellent. Make a little bit more noise. Blah. All right. Let's go down on our hands and knees. Oh, let's do our hands and knees. Let's do our whole thing, right? We didn't do any, any of that yet. So um, we're going to do table, which is start up on your high knees. Always worth a giggle, your high knees. And then you put your two hands in front of you, you know, right down, nice straight lines from your shoulders down to your wrists. Your fingers are spread wide. Your back gets as flat as you can make it. And we're in table. And then we 
drop our bellies and curve our backs in like a U shape, right? Is that a U shape? And our chins lift up. Your eyes can look up too, right? And we're cows and we swish our cow tails. And when we're cows, we say, ruff, 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 ruff. Oh no, we don't say that, do we? When we're cows, we say oink, 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 oink. Oh, we don't, no, oh, cows say moo. I know, I was teasing. All right, so let's give it a good moo and wiggle your cow tail, swish your flies. Get into your cow there. And then go back to your table. And then push up. And that's a different direction, right? Opposite, like an upside down you. And your chin goes towards your chest. And your back turns in a different direction. And you can wiggle around there. And this is cat. And when we're a cat, we say, yay! No? Oh, when we're a cat, we say ribbit, ribbit. No, we say meow, meow. Enjoy your cat. If anybody has a cat, you know, they wiggle around, they stretch, do your little stretch. And then go back to your table and your cow. And your table. And then you take your toes and you turn them under. And you get ready for your down dog, right? What's your dog look like today? Are your feet flat? Mine aren't. If I bend my knees, sometimes I can get them flat. I practice, it's just a practice. Sometimes we go for a walk, we walk our dog. Who's walking their dog today? Sometimes we practice one-legged. If you're practicing that, practice both legs. Whatever feels good today. Let's go back to our knees and back to our table. Let's go up on our high knees. Let's take a breath in and out. Let's go to down dog one more time. Let's see if it feels different than when we were just in it. Maybe my, my heels will be that much closer to the floor. Let's see. So we're in table. We turn our toes and we push up. How's that feel for everybody? Good, a little different? I like to now walk my fingers and my toes towards each other. I like to stick, stick the tips of my fingers under the tips of my toes and I hang out. If you did not stand with us and you're in a chair, you can hang out on your thighs. Wherever you're hanging out is good. And we stretch up, breathe in through our nose and out through our mouths. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. This is three sounds and three movements. If you're doing these movements from a seated position, stretch your arms as high as you can and your fingers wide. Stretch and fingers wide. If you're standing with me, jazz it up today. Thank you. 
Grab something fun for free stance. What do you have? Scarves, a towel, a sock, a t-shirt. I have a box of couscous. Freeze. Giraffes. Remember, they're like long necks. 
They're eating those high leaves. They're like silent. Usually they stand with a couple of other giraffes. Lions are not silent. How about how about sharks? Maybe they swim like this. Maybe this is your shark. How about um unicorns? They smile. They're magic. And how about Norwals? They that their tusk comes right out of their top of their heads. They swim cold, cold water. They like cold water. That would be like cold, colder than today if you went in the ocean. Great. And how about like an elephant with his big nose? He eats peanuts. Clap your hands. Clap up above your head and reach. Tap your knees. Tap the floor. Make some noise. Tap your neighbor's knees or your pretend neighbor. Tap your elbows. Switch hands. Tap your shoulders. Play patty cake. You know how to do that? Clap, clap, clap. Two hands. One hand. One hand. Two. Then you go fast. Last time up to stretch. Really get your last stretch in. Great. Take your stretch all the way down to your toes. Awesome. Let me just change this. Okay. Woo! How's everybody doing? I think maybe we'll just do a little bit more yoga and then a couple other things. Let's just, while we're on our knees here, or I was on my knees, let's get on our high knees. We'll stick one leg out straight. Maybe I have to move back a little. My, my yoga TV studio here. All right, so one leg is out straight. We're feeling strong on the, the knee and the leg that we're on. We go down to the side with really nice and strong there. Straight line from your wrist to your elbow to your shoulder. Nice and strong, and your fingers are spread. And this could be your yoga pose today. You breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. If you'd like, you can stretch your opposite hand up. And if you're strong enough, you can lift your straight leg. But maybe that's not what you want to do today. Maybe it looks like this. Maybe it looks like this. Whatever it looks like, we breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. And we come to two knees. And again, breath in and out 
and stick the other leg out, whichever leg was the, uh, you know, opposite, switch them up. Nice and sturdy. Feel sturdy right here. Maybe this is your yoga today. How's this feel right now? In through your nose and out through your mouth. If you want to go further, we go down. We have a strong arm. Other arm reaches up. Straight leg lifts. Anywhere in between any of those stages is awesome. Great. And come to two knees. And breath in. And out. Great. Wow. That's a lot of yoga. So. Oh, I want that in a minute. So. Wow. I thought maybe we do the memory game today. I didn't talk into the camera. Maybe the memory game today? How's that sound? Let's see if we can get that set up. You know, because you need a little rest after all that movement, right? A little rest after all the yoga. Something like that. And then just me here. Yeah, I'm in there, right? You can see me. All right, so when we play the memory game, I always tell you it's yoga for your brain, right? We usually lie on our bellies and we talk about everything that's coming out of my magic jar, right? So today, we'll, we'll, you can lie on your belly, right? Maybe you're lying on your belly. And we'll still talk about everything. And then I'll take a piece or a couple pieces away. And uh, you'll, you'll see if you can guess what's missing. It's a pretty good variation we came up with during this time, isn't it? Because we love the memory game. So this is a pretty good variation. So let's see. Let's start with the tree. Right? Are the trees in your, in your can you see trees from where you live? Are they starting to get green? We may not have too many trees like this one, but we do have trees that are getting green. And here's a little family. They're getting ready. They're, there's a little family. And uh, let's see. Oh, and here's a sheep. Here's a sheep under that tree. Bah. Ah. Little sheep, right? And um, let's see, here is the uh, grandfather clock, right? Old clock. What do we always say? Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. Mouse. And oh, a hand waving hi. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. And an egg that's left over from our springtime stories, right? But we can still use it today. And if I put the boy there, can you see the boy? A little bit, right? Let's see. Something like that. Yeah, you can see the boy. And then there's the paint cans. So there's a blue paint can and a blue paintbrush and a red paint can and a red paintbrush. Oh, I'll get it. And a yellow paint can and a yellow paintbrush. Oh, sorry for my face on the can. Okay, and that's the red. There we go. That's a lot to play with, huh? All right, is the tree straight enough? Let's get that tree straight and strong, right? Straight and strong, greening up. All right. 
Oh, so everybody see those things? Remember where they are? Okay, shut your eyes. No peeking. No peeking. Keep your eyes shut. Don't peek till I tell you you can. No peeking. No peeking. Okay, open your eyes. Oh, did you already have guesses? You already guessed? Really? How many things did you guess? How many things are missing? Oh, yeah, three. Three would be right, yeah. So what are they? The boy, right? The boy was missing. There he is. Trying to get him on camera there. There's the boy. Oh, and there was someone next to the boy, you say? Oh, it was. It was the sheep. Right. Yep. Oh, we said three things were missing. Hmm. What was the third? Hmm. What was the third? Who runs up the clock? The mouse runs up the clock. Right. Good job. All right, let's do another round. Shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. No peeking, no peeking, no peeking. Keep your eyes shut, shut, shut. Keep your eyes shut. Okay, open them up. What's missing? What is it? The egg? Correct. The egg was missing. Is that it? Oh, oh, the red. Oh, it, uh, the, oh, they're all missing. You're right. All the paintbrushes. I took all three. Yellow, red, and blue. I took them. All right, shut your eyes. We'll do one more round. Shut them tight. Don't peek, don't peek. It's no fun when you peek. It is no fun to peek. It's much more fun to play the right way. Okay. Oh, I meant, okay, now open your eyes. Sorry, did I, I shouldn't have said okay. But what did I take? You're right, I took one thing. Sometimes that's harder, right? When you only take one thing. Do you know, all know what the one thing I took is? I took the clock. Correct. I took the clock. All right. So lay down on your backs, get flat and get comfy. Are you flat on your back? May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you guide your way on. Guide you. Guide your way on. When we practice yoga together, we are healthier and happier. We always come together at the end and lie flat on our backs. If you're still in your chair, you can be in your chair. If you're in your bed, go ahead and lie down flat again. 
on your couch, on the floor, wherever you are, have that piece of furniture or the floor do all the work. You can just relax. Let your body take in the movement and the yoga that we practice today. Continue to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Enjoying this moment of stillness and quiet. We practice this and can come to this moment at any time. Even if we can't lie flat, we can always just shut our eyes and come to this moment. As you enjoy it, I'm gonna talk a little bit about pieces of your body. You can wiggle them, you can think about them, you can send them love and attention, or you can do nothing, your choice. We are grateful for 10 toes, two ankles, two feet, two knees, two hips, two strong legs, 10 fingers, two wrists, two hands, two elbows, two shoulders, two strong arms, two ears to listen with, two eyes to see with, a mouth, a nose that breathes in, and a mouth that breathes out. We can put our hands on our bellies or on our chest, or maybe right in front of our nose and mouth, and we can feel the breath come in and out of our body. As you start to transition out of this spot and this place, you can turn to one side and maybe use your pillow as a pillow or your arm as a pillow. Maybe start to open your eyes, maybe wiggle pieces of your body, start to transition. As you make your way to sitting up, take your time. Definitely take your time. Move slowly. Go slow. Welcome back. How's everybody? Awake, eyes open. You don't have to be. I'm going to read a story because I want to. Um, even though we, we've used a lot of time here today, but I still want, I want to read this story. And, you know, so maybe you're still lying on your back or maybe you want to go back to your back. Go ahead. Lie down. Whatever feels good. I'm going to read a story and then we'll be finished. And since it's a rainy day, I think it's okay that we went over a little bit and, um, you know, maybe someone will listen to this later. It'll be raining and they'll have a little story or maybe you'll stop listening now and come back to the story. I don't know what you're going to do, but it's going to be okay. But I want to read this, so I'm going to. So this is called Little Frida. 
Little Frida, A Story of Frida Kahlo by Anthony Brown. And it was um, published, look at this great pink page in here. It's great. It was published um, in 2019 um, by Walker Books Limited in the UK. And then in the United States by Candlewick Press. Little Frida, A Story of Frida Kahlo by Anthony Brown, Candlewick Press. I don't think I'm quite right. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, something. When I was six, I fell ill with polio and had to stay in bed for nine months. It was extremely painful. And when I eventually got better, I could only walk slowly with a limp. Other children laughed and made fun of me, calling me peg leg whenever I walked past. I tried to hide my thin right leg with three layers of socks, but it didn't fool anybody. It was, I was different and being different made me an outsider. My father was a photographer and sometimes he let me help him in his studio. I colored many of his black and white photographs. Although it was boring work, I loved being with him. Most th days though, in spite of having three sisters, I played on my own. I was lonely, but I quite liked being separate. When I slept, I dreamed of flying. I longed to really fly. I thought about it all the time. For my seventh birthday, I asked my parents for a toy plane. For days, I could think of nothing else but flying all around the world. But when the day finally came, these wings were what I got. I didn't want to show my disappointment, so I kept the silly wings on and ran to my room. And I, as I breathed on the windows, it slowly became misty with condensation. I drew a rectangle on the glass with my finger. Then I added a handle, and suddenly it was a door. I opened the door and stepped through it. I was free. I could run. I ran and ran and ran until I was completely exhausted. I was hot and very thirsty. There in front of me was a dairy. I walked all around the building looking for a way in, but I couldn't see one. Just when I was about to give up and go home, I noticed a little door. I crawled inside. And then I seemed to be falling slowly down into the depths of the earth. At the bottom, a girl was waiting for me. She didn't say anything, not even hello. But in the strange way, I felt as if I'd known her all my life. I smiled at her and she smiled too. The girl silently started to dance she was a beautiful dancer, and I talked to her while she gracefully moved around the room. 
I told her all the secret things I worried about. There were many, and she listened to every word I said. The girl was a stranger, but she felt so familiar. We sat and laughed together. I laughed very loudly, and she laughed without making a sound. We quickly became the closest friends. I'd never had a friend before. It was a wonderful feeling. After a while, I knew I had to go. We waved goodbye and I flew back home, away from the dairy. Across the plains and through the door drawn on the window, I rubbed out the door and ran to the farthest corner of the garden. I sat there and thought about my journey and my new friend. I was alone again, but now I was very happy. I knew that I could go back and see her whenever I wanted. She would be there waiting for me. From that day, I began to paint the girl over and over again. I visited her many times since we met. And in a way, I've been painting her ever since. The end. All right, everybody. Have a great rest of your day, a great west rest of your weekend. If you'd like to finish this session out with me, um, I would love it if you would repeat after me or say with me or guess what I'm going to say next. Who knows? I am happy. I am healthy. I am smart, I am funny, I am kind, I am gentle, I'm a great listener, I'm a terrific eater, I love spinach, and I love broccoli, and I love radishes, and I love cucumbers, and I love celery, and I love tomatoes, and I love, oh, what do you love? Oh, you love cauliflower, ooh, and you love what? Oh, you love Brussels sprouts? Oh, delicious, um, and, do, and I love cabbage. Mmm, I love some cabbage, yeah. Mmm, I love all those things, and I love you. Have a great week, I miss y'all, be good, bye.